Hello students, welcome to BioNuggets. So today we are going to learn about a very important and a very famous law, which is known as the 10% law of energy transfer. Now this law was given by Raymond Lindman in 1942. According to this law, the transfer of energy from one trophic level to the next trophic level is accompanied by the loss of energy. Okay, now this energy is lost in the form of heat in the environment. In this way, the energy levels will keep on decreasing as we reach the successive trophic levels. Now, let us understand this with a very simple example. Okay, now let us take the example of a very basic food chain. A food chain ke base mein hum lete hain grass ko. Okay, now grass ko consume kya grasshopper ne, grasshopper ko consume kya frog ne, frog ko consume kya snake ne, and snake ko consume kya hawk ne. So, at the base level, grass ne if supposedly fix kiya 1000 kilojoule of energy from the sunlight so 1000 kilojoule ka sirf 10% jayega humare next trophic level pe that is at the level of grasshopper okay so grasshopper ko mila 1000 kilojoule ka 10% of energy that is 100 kilojoules of energy ab grasshopper se frog ko kitna energy mila 100 kilojoule ka 10% that is 10 kilojoule of energy baki ka energy is being lost in the form of heat now, frog ke paas hai hamara 10 kilojoule of energy. Frog se snake ke paas kitna energy transfer hoga? 10 kilojoule of energy ka hum agar 10% kar de, to 0.1 kilojoule of energy would be transferred to the snake. Similarly, snake se hamare hawk mein jayega, sirf 0.01 kilojoule of energy. Okay, so this was about 10% law of energy transfer students. As you can see, the energy levels are decreasing as we are going to the successive trophic levels. So that was all about the 10% law of energy transfer students. See you in the next video. Follow me on Biology with MJ. Bye-bye.